today we'll start uh, the org organizational structure customizing that is used in the supply chain so the topics that we will learning today they are purpose of plant in and its customizing purpose of storage location and its customizing and mrp areas and its customizing so first we'll start with a business example your company currently has many locations where they store and manufacture products in order to make the most of out of your implementation you must be aware of how to model various installations in sap erp you want to learn more about how the sap erp plant and storage location will fit your supply chain model so we'll start with a plan first now what is a plan plant we use so many times in the previous topics we learned like when we create a material master we create it against a plant we create a bill of material we create a routing for a plant and material combination so that's a plant now we'll learn about some theory side of plant and also the customizing of the plant so theoretically a plant is as is an organizational unit within a company a plant is a place where valued goods and services are produced or can be stored or consumed or distributed examples of a plant can be factories central warehouse corporate headquarters and sales offices plants in the org structure so basically uh, from sap org structure point of view we have uh, we have a uh, client at the top level and under client we have different plants so under cl client we have said this is a plant number say 1300 there is another plant 1200 there can be more plants as well and every plant has a storage location so you can you can think storage location like Storage location we use as well in the material master as well. Whenever you create a material, you can use the storage location linked to that plant. So storage location we can think like it's a it's a division of a plant. So within a plant you can have one or more storage location. So that's a that's a different parts of the plant you can you can think like that storage location. And this is a menu path that you can use to customize a new plant so let me show you go to uh, follow this path in the enterprise structure definition and copy plan so if I go to SPRO SAP reference IMG and um, here you can go to enterprise structure and definition there are two things first you define something i'm talking about the org structure you define org structure um, unit and then you assign it to different objects for example if first go to definition open that and go to then next menu path is um, logistic journal open that and here you can define copy check plant so open that here you can define plant and you can copy as well so we always copy is easy because when you copy it will also copy all the assignments so it will do two things it will copy plus it will also do the assignment as well so if I go to define plant first here you can see all the existing plants like this plant I can copy I can oh, sorry, open and you can see the details of the plant and address go back and if you if you this step is used because there's another step within this step here let me show you once you have created a plant you need to assign it to a company code so company code so for what we do is we we create a plant and then we assign the plant to there's a first step here second step is 
assign plan to company code so company code as a org structure within the finance side of sap which is done by the company code is always used done created and customized by the finance guy finance uh, fico consultant but in our system we'll be using thousand plant for all our activities so we will create a new plant and do the assignment but when you do this step when you do this step it will copy and do the assignments as well it will copy all the assignments as well you know what i mean if i go to the first one define plant open that and i can select thousand plant and copy click on copy button after copying i can give it some name i can call it say zg s s for example give it a name you can say melbourne plant plant and press enter this already uh, entry is already done so i'll change because saying this number is already exists i'll say 1 Okay, so already there. So if I say ZGS one two, press enter. Okay, this is good, and this this will copy all the plan data, and I can press enter again. Now it's popping up a screen. It's asking you to enter the plant address. So what is the address of the plant? So here I can say this is um, call the plant something whatever the name of the plant. I can say Melbourne. give it a search term call it mel give it some address i can say uh, a b c street and you can say melbourne country au post code enter some post code region press enter and you can also enter the phone number here language you can say english you can enter some phone number here if you want and fax number email id whatever you want to enter once you done click on okay button at the bottom and it will copy all the data so zg zg12 plant is ready i can go to detail you can see the plant that i just created so let me save it first Select your transport request. Okay, it will copy all the address data. So I created a plant here, which is ZG12. Second step is to assign it to the company code. I can go back, go back, and that's definition as I said earlier. Go to assignment, logistic general. assign plan to company code open that here click on new entry company code as i said will be using 1000 and plan i created is zg12 press enter country of plan the first country to company code that's okay just say okay that's it so that's that's all you need to do to create a new plan <coughs> so here if i go to position plant is zg12 so that is assigned to the company code 1000 save it go back so that's how you can customize the new plant and um, one more uh, point to be noted here is if you use this functionality when you create a new plant if you go to define copy delete check plant instead of using the first one if you select the second one copy delete and check plant what it will do it will copy the plan to your own plan click on this copy button but it will also copy the assignments that means if i'm trying to copy creating this one from a copying from thousands so if the thousand plan is assigned to this company code this will automatically be assigned to this company code so it's like time saving if you just want to copy everything you can copy you can use this functionality so that you do not need to do the second step so second step will be done automatically so i can say from plan to plan and say okay that's it if you want to do, do this functionality now the plant is ready if you want you can start creating materials if i open if i there few other minor things needs to be done